Hey there, and welcome to this, the, I guess the final episode, at least the final that's planned episode of Pursuit Nation. I'm your host, Firefly, and let's jump right in. This episode's topic is on fursuit care and maintenance, basically how to take proper care of your fursuit, your costume, so that you're going to get the most use out of it. Now, there's a lot of different things that people say. The gist of it is you want to be as careful with it as possible, especially if you want it to last a long time. Running around, rolling on the ground, playing rough with other people takes its toll. Now, I know um, some people, they design their suits specifically for that. With that in mind, they double stitch all their seams, they reinforce joints, uh, and they take extra precautions. Still, stuff's going to happen that could damage your suit. So you want to try to be as gentle and as, as it... Bleh, 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 bleh. Already losing my mouth after, I don't know, a minute. Um, you want to be as gentle with your suit as possible. And part of that comes into being careful. Don't necessarily lend it out to other people unless you're there to supervise because you don't know how they're going to treat your stuff. Um, most people won't treat your stuff as nice as you would treat it yourself. So bear that in mind um, if you loan stuff out that you should really be present to observe and basically oversee how the costume or whatever you're loaning out is used. With that said, as far as cleaning your suit, this I could talk hours on this, I could talk five minutes on this. So we're going to try to shoot for somewhere in between. Now, a lot of makers, if you buy a suit from them, will send you instructions on how to properly clean their suit. Follow those instructions if they give you instructions. That's going to be how they design their suit to be properly taken care of. Um, if there's a certain aspect that you need clean, like say you got a stain in it, and they didn't address that in the instructions, send them an email, a letter, whatever way to contact them, uh, a message on their website. Let them know what you've run into and ask them how they would deal with this. They have a lot more experience than you would on the type of material that they use to create their suits. Now, if you are uh, like me, you buy the materials yourself, you design and create, build, if you bring your character to life yourself, then, I mean, what is there to go off of? There's a lot of tutorials out there on what people say you should do. But I'm not going to necessarily say that they're all right, but I'm not going to say they're all wrong either. There's little bits and tidbits you can learn from all over the place. The one thing I would do, especially if you hand sew a lot of the stuff, or even if you do machine sew, is to try to be gentle. If, you, if you're going to wash it, I would prefer a hand wash. Don't toss it in the washer, don't toss it in the dryer. Wash it by hand, hang it out to dry. Once it's thoroughly dry, brush it out, get a little bit of that fluffiness back into it, and leave it out. Don't just pack it away and toss it in a corner or in a box where it can collect mold. If, if there's any bit of water on it, when you go to store it, it will grow mold. And that's going to completely ruin your suit, plus whatever else happens to be in that box. So it's not worth it to try to demoldify, if that's a word, uh, a suit that has mold in it. And don't wear a suit if it smells moldy or musky. It probably does, and you don't really want to be breathing in those spores. They can be pretty harmful to your health. Now, as far as hand washing, I would not go with excessively hot water. Do something that's going to be more room temperature, maybe a little warm to the touch. If you want to use soap, I would use a mild detergent, not something super strong. I would not use bleach, as that tends to um, eat away, disintegrate more of the natural fibers. And that can lead to all sorts of shedding problems later on. And so, and be gentle when you're cleaning it. Don't scrub vigorously or, or use a coarse brush. Use your hands. Knead it nice and gently in preferably like a warm water. 
mix the detergent in um, and do a, a several rinses. So the first time, maybe just get it wet, then mix the detergent in, wash it that way, drain your sink, your tub, whatever you're using to clean it, refill it with water, do that a few times without the soap, just to make sure you get all the soap out. If you don't get all the soap out, oftentimes you can get like a little crusty residue when it finally dries. That's not necessarily the best thing. Um, I have a feeling the cat, yep, the cat's over there. Cat opened the door behind me, and, or behind you guys, and snuck in. So, come here. Say yeah. hi. Yeah, this is my sister's cat. She causes a lot of trouble. Like, stepping on my computer desk while I'm trying to work on the computer and demanding attention. Where was I? Cleaning. Um, once it's thoroughly cleaned, hang it up to dry somewhere where it can drip freely. If you want to wring it out, feel free. Um, that really helps. Be gentle, especially around seams. You don't want to pull or tug too much as that can tear the stitching. Um, do not machine tumble dry, uh, especially if it's made at home. I'm going to come out and say I would not recommend that you use a machine in any of the process of cleaning a fursuit unless the person who made your fursuit, bleh, 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 made your fursuit specifically keep, tells you or instructs you otherwise. So I think that pretty much does it for um, overall washing. General upkeep is going to be things that you're going to look for. It's going to be more hygienic. Now, for us guys, we tend to be very sweaty. And especially running around all day, wearing a hot suit, you tend to collect a lot of body sweat that starts to leach through your clothes. And those get into your suit. Um, unfortunately, for us guys, those areas that tend to get rather smelly are our armpits up here and also the crotch okay those tend to get smelly um, and they can get very icky with sweat um, so you want to pay a special attention to those if you don't mind using a um, deodorizing agent put that on your suit I would recommend though you don't put chemicals on your suit um, straight um, just because they t they tend to leach into and damage fibers. The one thing that I would put in um, that is mainly because it's not a liquid or a gel base is baking soda. I think it's baking soda or is it baking powder? Whatever that uh, little orange box that you buy on the shelf at the store, whatever that is. Um, the stuff that they put in kitty litter, okay? That stuff is great. Sprinkle a little bit of that in there, rub it around. Not only does it deodorize, but it also helps when you sweat, it'll collect moisture and prevent it from being um, transferred directly into the suit. So you get a little bit more um, air time, per se. So I would recommend doing that. Um, anything else? Oh... Well, oh, let's talk a little bit about um, the head. The head is a very special <laughs> thing to consider because usually it's not going to be fur that gets soiled unless it's from external factors, which if a little kid runs up to you and he's got chocolate all over his face and he wants to give you a hug, politely turn and run the other way, okay? <laughs> you do not want to try to get any food products out of your fur, especially chocolates are other sticky candy-like substances. They don't come out well, they don't come out sometimes at all, and they can really ruin a thousand dollar fursuit in a heartbeat. So stay away from kids who have that, or people in general who have sticky fingers, stuff like that. If they want to give you a hug and they keep insisting, ask them politely to go wash their hands first, then you'd be happy to give them a hug um, or take a photo with them. So, all right, back from that rabbit trail. Um, the head, usually the sweat and the soil soiling is going to happen inside from your head. 
and you're going to have the grease from your hair, you're going to have sweat from the pores in your skin. Um, you release a lot of heat through your head too, so it actually gets a lot of um, heat build up in there that can really start baking all those um, oils up there and really leach it really well into either the fabric if you're wearing a balaclava or into the foam if you're wearing a foam base. Now, those of you that wear resin bases, it can still leach a little bit into that. That's not so much to worry about. Just take like a, a wet washcloth, wipe it out, let it dry, you're pretty much good to go. As far as fabric, treat it like you do the rest of your fursuit. For foam, I would recommend that you dab it with water, maybe a little bit of a deodorizing agent, maybe just water mixed with baking soda. Dab it with that, get it decently wet. You don't need to let it leach all the way through um, unless you went swimming in, oh, I don't know, the swamp out back, okay? Which, if you do that, that's your thing. You're going to ruin your fursuit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. Where's the cat? That cat's causing more trouble. Um, get down. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Um, I'm going to knock over the rest of the fursuit supplies. Um, and there went my train of thought out the door. So, da, 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 da. all right, well, I'm sure it'll come back to me after I finish recording and I'll be like, oh, I should have talked about that. Oh, uh, man. Oh, I was talking about foam. Um, yeah, just let it um, kind of soak a little bit let it air dry then. You can wring it out a little bit. It's kind of hard usually with the head because it's kind of formed a certain way. Wringing it out kind of does weird things to it. Not only does it look weird, it does weird things to the head itself. Um, it can become misshapen if you squeeze it too much on one side, not off on the other when it dries. So you want it to dry, kind of get it generally um, evenly um, damp or wet when you're cleaning it and let it um, dry evenly as well. One thing I noticed it is awesome is whenever you go to take your head off is if you go to a fursuit lounge or headless lounge oftentimes there's going to be a fan or some special rig design to place your head on. They look like these little octopus trees with little holes in the top and they've got a blower attached to the bottom so you've got air blowing all out. Those are great especially if you're not sweating over the top. Take your head off, stick it on one of those for a few minutes, preferably, I'm going to say anywhere from five to ten minutes is great. It'll thoroughly dry the head. It also has a tendency to cool the material in the head because you build up a lot of heat there, so it's able to cool back down. When you put it back on, it just feels so much nicer. Um, I mean, it feels great to take your head off back there because you can breathe. It feels so nice. Um, but when you put your head back on, oftentimes you'll feel hotter. Um, than you originally thought you were and that's just because you're bottling all that heat that now was allowed to escape if you put your head on one of those rigs it oftentimes really helps by just for heat control not only that it really helps keep the head the fursuit head in general um, cleaner because it's not going to be able to collect as much sweat if you aren't generating as much heat and sweat inside now I think I'm running out of stuff to talk about. And I think I've covered everything for once <laughs> in regards to this. So I think I'm going to end this here. It was great doing this. Blah, 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 blah. There we go again. It was great doing this series with you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Uh, I may post up um, little one off episodes every here and every now and again um, when the mood strikes me or. That's not how that goes when the... I am terrible with puns and sayings and forget it. Um, so anyway, I'm your host Firefly and catch you later.